Hello family, welcome back to the channel. I am here with a large Dollar Tree craft supply haul, crafty haul. I got a lot of the Crafter Square items in this haul, a lot of the wooden items, uh, just a mix. I have a bunch of different craft supplies to share with you. Um, things I pick up that I can use in my crafting. So let's jump into it. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for clicking on the video. For my subscribers that are already coming back to see what I'm doing, thank you. I appreciate you. So let's get into it. So I picked up this Voila gift wrap. Now I use the gift wrap in my junk journals. I love this print. It was really cute, so I went ahead and picked it up. Um, yeah, it's cute. I, I'm not really big on the spaces on, you know, like my stickers and stuff like that, but I just thought this was cute and I could use it in several different themed journals. So I picked it up. Uh, you get 20 square feet of gift wrap, so... I always look through the gift wrap to see what different prints they have that I can use to add into my stash. I picked a couple of the Artist's Canvas up by Crafter Square. Got two of these. These are the larger ones. They are 11 by 14. So I picked them up to put them in my stash. I think I'm going to make something for my aunt with these so I went ahead and grabbed two of those I picked up this wooden wood plaque and it has the cut out heart the word heart in there so I originally got this just for the base of it but I don't know what I'm going to do now so I think I scratched that idea but Anyways, I have it. I can use it um, to make something. Uh, I have one of the Valentine's wooden, the wooden beads. It's the beaded heart. So I picked this up out of the Valentine's stuff when it first came out. And it's just been in my bag that I've been collecting of craft supplies. So got one of those. If I don't want to keep it as a heart, I can take the beads off and use it in other ways. I did pick up a couple packages of the wooden planks by Crafter Square. So you get six wooden planks in the package. I figured these would come in handy for something. So I went ahead and got those. I picked up some of the craft sticks by Crafter Square. You get 60 craft sticks in the package. So I got those. I picked up a couple of the wood and birdhouses that came out with like the spring crafting stuff. So I picked up this one. It has little bees on it. Got those so I can paint them and hang them outside maybe. I gotta seal them though if I'm going to hang them outside, I'm sure. This is the, the one with the little bird really cute. They're calling them Craft Garden Birdhouse. So those are the two that I picked up. And then I picked up a couple of the the wooden like signs, DIY signs. I picked up the flower, uh, watering can with the flowers in it. It says life is beautiful with the butterfly. So I am going to try my hand at painting this. I may do it in a video on this channel, we'll see. And then I picked up the Welcome. I like this one, it has the little rain boots and then the plant. So, got those to paint. I used to love to paint. I haven't sat down and done that in a while. I picked up one of the uh, dragonflies. I thought that was cute. I have a big tree in my backyard with, um, I kind of use it as a flower garden, but I have the wheelbarrow turned over in there and I like to hang things 
in there and put up the colorful stakes and stuff out there. And I got tired of putting mulch around that tree every year to make it look pretty. So um, last year I started to convert it into just like wildflowers. Just throw a bunch of different flowers out there around there. I just need to get a lot more dirt this year so I can get it finished. Um, but yeah, like some of these items I want to paint and hang under there. I, I've made little... My daughters and I made little uh, fairy fairy gardens and displayed them under the tree in pots and stuff. So we'll see. I want to make it look really cute. So, And it probably will have a lot of the Dollar Tree items, stakes and stuff, the little solar lights and stuff like that through it. But anyways, I did pick up this indoor garden brand, the Craft Shapes. These are the little fence with the flowers you get six pieces in here I got those for crafting these I actually could paint and put them on journal covers as well and then I picked up a package of the little wooden shapes um, little embellishments I don't think I had this one so I went ahead and grabbed it when I saw it, it has the squirrels the different nuts the maple leaves mushrooms um, what's that behind there Oh, it's a little um, hedgehog or porcupine or something. So yeah, got that package. I don't know, I picked up this little craft bottle. I don't know why, but I figure, you know, I may need it one day. So I went ahead and grabbed it, it's really cute. Just a little craft bottle. And then I found the Crafter Square crafting paper pads. I picked up two of the three, I think, that my Dollar Tree had. I got the one with the little um, woodland animals and mushrooms. And there's a little birdie and a rabbit. And yeah, so I got these. I figure I can use them somehow in my paper crafting. They kind of feel like vellum a little bit, but it's paper. But I thought those were really cute. So I did get one of those. And then I picked up this one here with the different little uh, inspirational quotes. Yeah, it's let's dare to be ourselves for we do that better than anyone else. But this is what it looks like. Got those. These I picked up um, when I saw them. Uh, they are the large stickers by Crafter Square. So I picked up these two here. Yeah, they look kind of weird, but I thought those would be cute. Those would even be cute on the cover of one of my glue books where I glue different stuff out of magazines. I think those would look really cute as covers. So got those as decoration on the covers what I'm trying to say. I picked up a box of the Tumbling Tower, the, the Tumbling Tower game. I picked it up just for the blocks. I've seen a lot of people use these in their crafting. So I just got them in case I need them. Because these make great stands on projects, pictures and stuff. So got those. Um... I found this personalized banner in the um, wedding section over in the aisle, like with the baby, the baby shower stuff. And but I found this banner. I figure I can use this in my paper crafting. I love the roses. I could even fussy cut those. And it has um, stickers with uh, the alphabet stickers with pink letters. So, and then it has ribbons. I mean, you can deconstruct this and use it for whatever. Um, and it has the ribbon or twine or whatever that is, some type of ribbon. And it's seven feet long. So got that for crafting purposes. 
I did pick up one of the hardware storage cases out of the tool section. This is a tool bench brand. Got that for my craft space. A little organizing container for something. I picked up these little mini mason jars from Crafter Square. I thought they were cute. So I went ahead and got those. I'm pretty sure I'll come across a project or something. These would be cute for a tear tray as well. So got those. I got the elastic band. I thought I had two of them, but I'm not sure. It might have got put in with the Easter craft stuff. But anyway, I grabbed one of these. It is nine yards and it's a red elastic, which I can use these for my journals. So I went ahead and grabbed that red one. We might run across another one here somewhere. I'm not sure. I picked up a bag of these resealable bags by Crafter Square. It's a 20 count. They have a little zipper seal, which I like these little baggies when I'm sending off, you know, little bits and bobs for Happy Mail or even just storing little fussy cut images and stuff. These are great for that. I picked up two of the Craft It Up kits by Creative Kids, and I actually got these from my daughter. Um, this one is a DIY macrame, macrame feathers, which is cute. That'll go along with her room, I think. And then this one definitely, because she has like a succulent theme room. This is uh, the DIY macrame cactus. It says no tools, just nodding. So I think this would be easy enough for her to learn how to do. So I got those for her. And then I picked up some of the Hallmark Expressions thank you notes. So I got this package. They are really pretty. You get six um, blank cards and six envelopes. I like to send these off um, when I get orders from my Etsy shop. So I send a little thank you note. So I got that one. And I also use these in my junk journals as well. I picked up this one with the cats on it that says thank you. And uh, yeah, these are great for journals as well as to use them what their intended purpose is for. So I got that. I picked up some flashcards out of the teaching tree section. I picked up the Barbie ones, of course. These are for my Barbie themed junk journals. Picked up a box. You get 36 cards. And let's see. I'm trying to pull them out the box so I can show you what they look like. But this is what they look like. They're super cute. I like the prints and patterns on there. Um, I usually like cover one side with paper to make journaling cards out of them. I fussy cut the Barbies out of them and use them as I'm dropping them. But yeah, there's really cute, cute prints. So I got that box to put in my Barbie kit, jump journal kit. I need to make some more Barbie journals. I have sold the last of my Barbie journals. I'll put that back in later. And then the other one I got is the Hello Kitty. I do have a kit started. Well, actually I got quite a bit of Hello Kitty stuff in there for a journal. I just need to get it done. I put all these kits together and it's just finding the time to get them made. I've almost got finished with two farmhouse journals that I'm working on. There's one here. I've been decorating it. 
And then this one here, I still have to sew the cover and cut it down some more, but, and this one is just using a Amazon, one of the envelopes. I am going to do a video where I show how I use some of the Dollar Tree fabrics and items from Dollar Tree to make some journal covers and other items that I use. So I will dedicate a video just to making some journal covers. And then maybe that'll get me a head start on some covers that I need. So anyway, here are the Hello Kitty cards. Look how cute those are. So got those for journals. I have another package of cards. Now these I got just for the little elephant there for journals. Um, it's from the baby section. It says it's a baby shower. Not the baby section. These were hanging up with the other thank you cards, but it's for a baby shower invitation. So I got that just for, just for that really. But it has envelopes, so all this can be used for my journals. Now this came out of the baby section. It is these little napkins here. And you get 25 napkins, but I got these, of course, for journals, decoupage. This could be used in several different journals. Zebra journal, a zoo journal, a carnival journal, so or just like an elephant theme journal. I thought that was cute, so I picked those up. And I will be sharing some of those. I did find this Barbie Princess Adventure book. I plan on using the pages in a junk journal. This is a cute little book to use. And then I found these in the Teaching Tree section. They're little blank books. You get four blank books in the package. So I got these two. I got this print. And then I got this one that looks like a composition notebook. And I plan on using those in a journal. Let me open it up and show you. So they're little thin books. You get 16 pages in the book, but I plan on taking them apart. I can use the pages, so I have blank book pages, and then I can use the cover as well in my journal. And then the same here for the composition. I think I have pictures to insert of the other patterns that I found. I picked up this Crown Jewels little notepad shopping list. I got it for the daisies. I'm collecting daisy items for the journal. So these pages have lines and then they have um, printed daisies on the pages, front and back. So I thought that would be cute paper to insert in the pockets. I finally picked up some stickers. Uh, haven't been grabbing stickers that often, so I found some. I found these pretty little dragonflies. I do have a kit started for a dragonfly journal. So you get uh, seven, and they're pop-up stickers by Crafter Square. I also got these pop-up stickers, and these are the bees, the bumblebees. And you get six in this package. And then I got these poppies, these flowers. They're called Magic On. You get 12 in the package. So I got those for a kit. And then I found some little gemstones. I got the yellow hearts. And you get 117 pieces in the package. And then I got the red hearts. So, got those. I did find a new ribbon. And it's that lace ribbon, like crochet. But this is a thicker 
much thicker one. I love the little skinny one. I think I have some on this journal. So this is the one that they normally carry, the skinny one. And now they came out with this large one here. So you get 3.28 feet on the rolls. So I got those for my journals. And then they came out with a new metal ribbon. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I did pick up two. They had a few different designs, but it is a metal ribbon. It's new. It is by that Floral Garden brand. And you get, what is that? Four and a half feet. No, it's one in, one inch by four and a half feet. So I'm going to figure out something to do with that. If you have any ideas, let me know. And then the last items are fabric. I love grabbing the fabric from Dollar Tree. So I picked up a bunch here. Let me see, what do I got? One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine. Nine rolls of fabric. I will show them to you individually. So this first one looks like this. Um, and this is the print. It's like a rainbow. It has rainbows and clouds and stars and airplanes. I don't know. It's just a fun fabric. It has unicorns. So that'll be great. I get these for my journal covers. And fabric flips and things like that. So I got this zebra print one. So, yeah, it falls out pretty big. This is, and then it opens up the other way as well. So, you get quite a bit for $1.25. Then I got this leopard print. Is it leopard print or cheetah print? Cheetah print, I think. But anyway, got that one. And then I got this one. It looks like a bandana Print. It's in the black and white, like paisley. So I got that one. Then I got this one. It's another fun one with rainbows. And it looks like that. That'll make a really fun journal cover. And then this one with the little sneakers on it look like Converse. Let's see. Got that one. And let's see. I got three more. I, two of them are duplicates, I think. I don't know. Anyways, I got this one. And I already have a kit put together that I could use this one for. And that'll go with my Flamingo stuff as well. This one here. So these will work out great for my summer journals. And then the last one is this one here. So, I could use this on the outside and put this on the inside. That would be cute. So, that's it, y'all. That's my haul, my Dollar Tree craft supply haul. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to do so. Hit the thumbs up and also the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Till the next one, everyone. Keep crafting. Bye-bye.